All right, let's ask a really great question. Why do some ETFs that track the S&P 500 have different re returns over the years? So the short answer is that they should not have different returns. They should be near identical. If you look at Canadian dollar S&P 500 ETFs, the most variance that I've been able to see over a year period is 0.2% difference which is pretty insignificant. Now, the reason why there is any kind of difference is because these are shares that are being traded. And so there is very slight variances because they are being offered by different companies. And it just depends on the share, on the, the um, purchase and sell volume. So there will be extremely small differences, but overall they should track. Now, sometimes they don't, but it's a little bit like comparing ambrosia apples to gala apples <laughs> so let me explain if you're into apples um so i'm gonna take these two off so these three that i'm tracking here these are vfv x us and zsp these are uh three this is vanguard iShares, bmo SP 500. As you can see, near identical at the end of a one year period, 0.2% difference. And then if we look at a five year period, slightly more, but if you remember, it's over five years, so it still would be incredibly small on an annual basis. These are identical, but when you mix something in like VOO, which is the Vanguard 500 index, it's quite different. And if we go over a one year period, why is this the outlier? These are all pretty similar. This is a fund that's in US dollars. That is the difference. And so if you Google VOO as a fund, you will see that it is US dollars um, trading on a US stock market, whereas these top three are trading on the Toronto Stock Exchange. That's the primary difference. This is trading on the US stock market in US dollars. Another variance is VSP, which is Canadian dollar hedged. And if we add that one in, you will also see there, there's difference, right? So these three are Canadian ones. They're all identical. And then these two, right? This is the US dollar on the US market. This is Canadian dollar on the Canadian market, but it's hedged against the US dollar. So you need to kind of compare the, the, the same things to each other.